this is a better one. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, it's a perch. It's a good perch, too. time a bit of a perch session this is a local suburban pond which I normally I've been coming down here for the roach because there's such a good stock of them but I've it's come to me notice that uh, I've run into a lot of nice perch where, where I've been fishing castor and even on sweet corn sometimes too so uh, this time we're going to try a lobworm and it's all traditional we've got nice juicy little lobworm I might go up to a bigger one later um, this one is on a size 10 hook and it's trapped by a plastic red maggot. It's a barbless hook so the worm tends to uh, find its way off if you don't trap it with something. And a barbel and um, plastic red maggot is absolutely ideal for that. Um, I've got a selection of A's and BB's shot in this float down. And something quite interesting, this is very old school, sort of pre, even pre Mr. Crabtree days, I think. Uh, old school bobber float uh, made by my friend Dave Massam. He made several floats for me, and uh, I'm going to do him the honour of trying this out for a perch. Traditional perch bobber, so. Centre pin reel. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's a carbon fibre rod. I've not had a cane rod, but that would have completed the traditional feel of it. So let's see how we go on. I'm going to. Um, Got some chop worms here, which I'm going to mix with a bit of uh, molehill soil, which I've got here. Mix that into a ball, and that is going to go out into the swim out there. I put a I put a few in already so um, hopefully by the time I start fishing there might be one or two perch sniffing about there um, having found the worms let's see anyway it's a lovely autumn day and I don't really mind if I don't catch anything at all it's just an experiment really okay So quite a brief session, maybe an hour and a half, something like that, on my way home from work. And I don't think I've used one of these floats or anything similar to it since I was a very small kid and I very first started fishing with me, my dad. So uh, quite an experience. And I've got to be honest with you, I think the modern sort of aqua dynamic slimline uh, waggler floats are probably a lot more efficient for this but there's a certain charm about this uh, old style stuff and I thought it'd be fun to try one of these old style little fat uh, bodied uh, bobber floats I 
Well, it, it was quite a quiet session, to be honest. Um, thoughts running through my head uh, was a fishing in a swim that was too shallow, have the fish moving into deeper water with the cooler autumn temperatures. Um, should have brought some ground bait, maybe should have, should have tried maggot instead of worm, all sorts of thoughts. And then, and then I got this uh, very violent sail away bite, uh, which my strike uh, met with uh, no resistance, I think, pulled the worm off the hook and the float catapulted out and nearly hit me in the face, right around the phone stand. That's a positive bite. <laughs> One or two very shy little abortive bobs that didn't turn into anything. And then, after what seemed like quite a long time, but was probably like a few minutes, nice, firm, conclusive, committed bite, which, uh, which connected very nicely. Fighting flesh. Well, that is not a bad perch at all, maybe half a pound plus. Go one for one for Mr. Massum's float. Quite a nice chunky perch. About half a pound maybe. Maybe a bit more. Don't know. Nice fat one. Back he goes anyway. Oops. Yes you can. So, seem to do the trick coming off the bottom of it. Sadly, that was the only perch of the session. Maybe I should have tried the, the deeper water closer to the dam, which is maybe a bit more suitable for the, uh, the perch. Anyway, I'm certainly going to get down here again over the autumn and the winter and uh, maybe try some different methods i'm thinking small dead baits so no experience of pike in here not seen any seen any evidence of them so small dead bait might be good for a big perch and uh, possibly soft plastics and before that before the weather gets too cold maybe uh, the meps spinners uh, or something similar to that anyway thanks very much for watching if you've enjoyed the content please like subscribe share and if you feel so inclined leave us a bit of a comment nice to chat and uh, i'll see you again soon on the the next bit of a session okay thanks again